change the vector a to Cartesian form. a is 4i plus 3j. We want to find its magnitude and its direction. First of all, go ahead and sketch out what we're talking about here. We're coming along the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going along the y-axis, 1, 2, 3. So vector a is going to be over this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to this point. A looks like that. Find its magnitude. To find a magnitude, you're going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle right here. We have a triangle with sides 4 and 3. The magnitude of A is the square root of each of its coordinates squared, each of its components squared. So the magnitude of A is 5. We weren't given units here, so we don't need units here. The other thing you need to find is direction. We want to be able to say the vector A is 5 in a certain direction. For example, we could find this angle. If we wanted to find this angle, you can use tangent function. Tangent of theta is 3 over 4. So theta is 36.8699 or something like that. If you take the arctan of 3 fourths, A is 5 at 36.9 degrees above the horizontal. Or you can say at 36.9 degrees counterclockwise. from the positive x-axis. You can also say, and it's up to you, A is 5 at this angle, where phi is 90 minus theta. It doesn't matter. As long as you have specifically identified its magnitude and its direction, With no hope, no possibility of anybody being confused, you have identified the magnitude and the direction of A.